Now, we're all different when it comes to sleep. Some stay up late, some get up early. Take Angela, for instance. She's always been a night person. Her energy levels peak at 10pm, just when her husband is ready to go to bed. And even after many years of doing this, he still can't understand why her energy levels are so high during the evening. However, she's not so good in the mornings, and she never has been. It takes her at least half an hour to get out of bed, after hitting snooze many times. And she needs a coffee before she can function and start the day. So what about you? To discover what type of sleeper you are, complete the quiz on your worksheet and we'll discuss the results shortly. OK, that test will have determined whether you are an owl, a lark, or a hummingbird. Now, in general, larks tend to get better sleep because, in our society, we are geared up to start our days early. Typically, larks tend to wake up before 6am without needing an alarm and start thinking about going to bed at 9pm. In contrast, owls tend to wake up naturally closer to 10am and have no desire to go to bed until around 3am. They also quite often need an alarm to wake them up in the morning. Hummingbirds fall somewhere in between, and it's estimated that around 30% of the population is either an owl or a lark, meaning the vast majority of people fall somewhere in between these two extremes. Many people try to become a morning person, because it fits in with our society. School and work, for instance, often start early in the day. And I'm sure you've heard the phrase, the early bird catches the worm. Well, research indicates that it could actually be down to your genes. Heinz et al. collected data from nearly 90,000 people who had submitted their DNA in saliva samples. And they were asked a simple question. Do you consider yourself a morning person or a night person? Their findings suggested that women were more likely to be early risers at about 48% compared to 38% of men, and people over 60 preferred mornings compared to those under 30. The study also found at least 15 genetic variants that increase a person's chances of either becoming a morning person or a night person. There are scientists who disagree with the notion that being a morning person is genetic. Professor Till Ronnenberg at Ludwig Maximilian University in Germany suggests sleep style is a continuous trait, like body height or shoe size. In the same way that there are not simply two shoe sizes, or only two heights, people's sleep patterns are on a continuum, and they are affected by a number of different factors, such as sunlight, temperature, and our genes. He also goes on to point out that sleep patterns are adaptable, and that's what allows you to recover from things like jet lag or working in shift patterns. This adaptability is even more noticeable when people go on holiday. For instance, they may have no problem getting up early to go for a mountain hike 